54 minutes. Let's go. Hello, everybody. Um, <coughs> a bit of a new. <coughs> sorry about that. A bit of a new video format going at the moment. Um, you can see everything around me. I just sort of you, you can you can see everything. Everything's here. I'm about to fall off. Everything's here. You can see the wall. The the, the wall of shit. <laughs> the wall of shit that's pointlessly put up. Um, so yeah, you, you can basically see everything. Um, I've been wanting to try and get the wall, quote unquote, um, as I'm calling it, in some of my videos. But here is, here's the wall. Um, and obviously you can see some uh, fucking gritter stuff over there. There's Aries there, uh, Desolet over there, and above that is just some random stuff. And above that, the um, Aries art. I'll just sort of. I'll go my phone up. Above the Aries art, which. Uh, yeah, you can see it just there, the blue one. Uh, um, that's just basically telling you all the songs that are on the vinyl and things like that. Um, so, yeah, you can see that lovely, lovely person, and we have Catwoman down here. Um, but, yeah, you can pretty much see everything. Um, <coughs> Sorry if I keep coughing throughout this video. Bit of a bug going around at the moment, as people know. But anyway, um, what I want to do today is uh, just go over my Gorillaz collection that I basically have so far. Um, and what I have pretty much accumulated at the moment. Some things are gone from previous videos. Other things have stayed. Um, I had to get rid of the Now Now Collector's Edition. Which had the vinyl, um, the art, 2D's notebook, the pin badges and stuff like that. I had to get rid of that because the um, vinyl record inside it was actually scratched. So I didn't want to keep anything like that. Um, I want all these vinyls to be as pristine as possible. Um, but yeah, I've been talking to a friend who knows about vinyls pretty well. Um, and she has obviously instructed me in some very obvious printing problems that can occur with quite a few finals as well and stuff like that but um, nothing nothing can be as perfect as a collector really wants them to be um, so we just have to take the rough with the smooth basically um, for what I say so obviously I have oh, Gordon Bennett <laughs> hold on I have this massive wad of CDs um, that I've collected over the years and I've set them out in my um, in basically just sort of the order that I will enjoy these CDs until obviously a new order that I've chosen comes out <coughs> so starting at the top we of course have the now now um, I kind of dipped out of uh, gorillas for a little while I must admit um, kind of forgot that they existed until um, I saw humility um, video for humility uh, while I was just browsing around the internet um, and I kind of just sat there and went oh yeah those guys exist um, and I I remember seeing them and it's like, oh, right, yeah, you know, that's what they looked like, but, you know, <laughs> that's what they look like now. Well, ob obviously that's Ace, that's not Murdoch. Um, obviously they look so much more different and Noodle's grown up, so that's pretty, that was pretty cool. Um, and then obviously we have the latest, we have Song Machine Season 1. Um, this was obviously all the way from Strange Times to Momentary Bliss, um, stuff like that, and this is just a really cool little piece to have, and then the sort of, some of the cool art that you get inside as well. Um, so yeah, really, really cool art. Now, I've, I'd always seen this picture of 2D with, um, I think it's a deer? I could be wrong, I think it's a deer. 
I've seen that floating about over the internet over a few days. I don't know if that's just reused on like art or something like that. There we have Desolet. This is what I was on about all the different tracks on the um, vinyl. That's for how far. Which is really nice. Nice double page spread. And then just more random art stuff that leads up to all this. Which is kind of cool. We can see uh, Damon and Jamie sat with the band, which is really nice. Really nice to see. Um, I just saw on their Instagram as well that they are on the cover of DIY magazine. Um, so I'm going to have to look out for that at any point that I can so I can pick it up. <laughs> um, then we have Demon Days. Um, this this is the quote unquote album that got me into Gorillaz. Um, in more ways than one, because I saw Feel Good Inc. and um, I genuinely thought this was from some animated film or something like that, but it wasn't. It I the idea of a animated band was just sort of new to me at the time um, I didn't really think anything of it so Gorillaz has gone on to be one of the most one of the bands that I will follow till the end of the year um, no matter how hard it might be to get some of the stuff that they sell um, or how expensive some of the clothing is I will try I'll genuinely try and get some. Um, humans. So yeah, Humans is fourth on the list. Um, it's not at the bottom. I genuinely do love Humans. Uh, it's a really cool album, actually. Um, I like, as well, on the back, some of the art mixed in with sort of realistic clothing and things like that. It's really good. Um, I mean... Now, one of my favourite, <coughs> one of my favourite songs from this, um, definitely has to be Hallelujah Money. Definitely Hallelujah Money. Because um, as uh, Murdoch says, uh, fucking Benjamin Clementine's voice is all mellifluous. Oh, mellifluous. Oh, <laughs> um, D-Sides. Decides. I didn't actually know this was a thing. Um, nor with G-Sides, actually. Till I saw a um, sort of advertisement sort of thing um, on the internet. And I was a bit wary of it at the time because it just randomly popped up. I didn't want to like click anything. Um, so I exited the website. Um, and then I just went into my local, well, not local, I have to take a bus to get there, but it's like 10 or 15 minutes, not even that, probably 5 or 10 minutes. Um, and yeah, it's just become one of my most favourite CDs. I mean, Murdoch is God is Great, um, Rocket, We Are Happy Landfill, uh, mainly love Rocket because it's pretty much just blah 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 so it's the most easiest lyrics I can fucking learn <laughs> um, but yeah that, that's another thing um, I collect these CDs for is that I, I just I um, mainly love sort of uh, I, I love trying to learn the lyrics and stuff like that to these songs because it, it interests me so much and things like that and then um you've obviously got the you know exclusive you can access murdoch's winnebago um and stuff like that and get like wallpapers and stuff i don't actually know if this would still work these days if people know if this works um and there's a way i can sort of get the wallpapers and things onto my phone that would be great. Um, 
because that's something I really want to do because it, it just it would seem cool to be fair. Um, so yeah, there's all the there's all the instructions as well. So that's cool. But yeah, if people know that this will work on up to date computers then just let me know. I mean that it probably does, but I don't want to test anything out that I don't have concrete evidence that it definitely works. Um, here we have the fall, which isn't in a plastic casing, it's in a paper one. Or card, really. Um, not my most favourite album, but um, I've seen a few people's sort of opinions on this being like oh it's absolute garbage it's stuff like that and you know it's just like mm, it's not garbage I mean just because it's been made on someone's iPad um, well from what I've heard apparently it's been made on um, Damon's iPad but no I, I don't have a problem with this album to be fair I don't have a problem with it at all uh, Plastic Beach which I have the vinyl of very nice art there, very nice art. Um, again, not my most favourite album because there's only like two, maybe three songs on here that I'll listen to. Maybe four sometimes if I'm in the mood. Um, but it's obviously just the sort of quintessential add-on to the... Um, Gorilla's Mythos and stuff like that, one of the next Kong Studios and things. Um, <coughs> but apparently I've heard a lot that obviously the stuff in this got retconned and things. And um, this is only the standard edition. So, um, Yeah, I also missed out on the uh, the Gorillas Experience Edition. Oh, I'll have to look out for that if I can. Yeah, I I know I've missed out on the um, Plastic Beach sort of tour on Gorillas dot com, so I don't know if I'll be able to access that anymore. Be a shame if I can't. Um, this is just the singles album. I've mainly picked this up to complete the set. Um, so yeah, the, the, I don't really have much to say about this, it's just, it's all the singles, so you can listen to them in one sort of digestible moment. Um, and then obviously this is G-Sides, not my most favourite one, but I wondered what album Ghost Train was from, um, and now I know it's from this, G-Sides. Um, one two D three is quite nice. It's sort of soft. It's not too much. Um, but yeah, this also comes with videos, which I'm not sure that D sides does. It doesn't say so. So no, don't think it does. So this comes with videos for um, Clint Eastwood and Rock the House, which is really cool. Really, really cool. So, uh, yeah, that's all my ZDs. Um, I will be looking out for the plastic case versions for these. Because I've uh, already started to get a little bit damaged. So I'm trying to keep them as safe as I possibly can. Um, until I find some way of sort of putting all these on display in a nice, neat way. So everybody can see them. So, the next thing I genuinely got, obviously, was my G-Shock, which I've got this out. The box I've put away on in safekeeping and things like that, um, but it's still obviously got, you know, little Casio tag and everything like that. Um, oh, I've just noticed I've got the... Uh, little download thing from the humans vinyl 
that's cool. Yeah, this is really eye-catching. It's really eye-catching, especially on the top. You know, you, you, you there's no way you'd miss that. Um, well, I suppose it's said if you call it blind. But yeah, it's really, really nice eye-catching. Very nice from a sort of um, illustrator's perspective as well. Really cool. Um, so, um, yeah, as I said before, I have the Plastic Beach vinyl. It's a double vinyl. Um, so, obviously, your records come in this. <coughs> Excuse me, sorry. Oh, God. I do not want to. There we go. So, obviously, your records come in this very nice sort of sleeve. Yeah. Um, which I wish that they um, packed these, the art that they put on these, um, separately as well, because these are these are absolutely amazing. I wish that I could have these sort of as they are printed on my wall. Well, not printed on my wall, but pinned on my wall, stuff like that. But I don't want to obviously rack these just for the sake of having some pictures on my wall that I could probably find somewhere else um, and then obviously we have the second one so that's quite nice um, a look at other records just to cover every basis this is obviously side D and then a nice picture for it Wrecked ship. So. And don't worry, I know I have to be extra careful with these because you know I I don't want them to be you know get broken or anything like that because these are genuinely my pride and joy. <coughs> Uh, we have humans on vinyl. Um, not, I, I wouldn't say it's the most eye-catching album cover that they have, but um, it's still kind of nice. I like that they've tried to go for the um, realistic look. Things like that, which is kind of cool. It sort of works on 2D. I think it kind of works on Murdoch though. But that's just my opinion. <laughs> the internet will run a blaze. Um, but yeah. Some more stuff. There's no art on the back. It's just telling you what's on this side. So some more nice art. And then these ones come out at the top, basically. Um, which has got some nice art. Russell, some nice art of uh, Noodle. So that's kind of cool. And then um, on this side, one of my most favourite art pieces of art that I've seen on these. Um, they just rock it up in a fucking shot to shit car <laughs> with uh, Woody the Woodpecker on the shoulder um, so yeah really lovely art of 2D yeah absolutely love that um, and then Murdoch I don't really like Murdoch too much but you know get in there yeah I don't really like Murdoch too much I kind of hate him, but, you know, he's part of the band, so what can I do? Just hope he mellows out and starts treating people nicely. So, um, I didn't know these existed um, until I kind of stopped looking at, you know, this one um, in the shop. Um, when I went back in a couple of days later. So this is the limited edition 
yellow vinyl. Um, and what I was thinking they would be doing is the same thing they did with the Now Now vinyls that you got in the special edition, where they were blue, um, just like a solid blue, like the other ones are a solid black, but it's not. If we take that out, then this is obviously the little download code slip that you get with them. Um, some more really nice art. Um, 2D talk about cutting wood, crying babies, Murdoch talk about shit, and Noodle talk about breaking eggs. <laughs> Whatever that conversation means, I'll have absolutely no idea. But the best thing about this final, I think, is that it is kind of see-through, which is awesome. Um, it sort of, you know, you can kind of see my hand through it if it's all close, which is really cool, really, really cool. Um, sort of Song Machine logo on the front. A really nice art of Conk Studios on the back with the statue. And I think, I could be wrong, but I think these are a little bit weaker because they, they look thinner. Let me just get out another vinyl. I could be wrong, but they look thinner. No, it's not. No. Hmm. I thought they looked thinner because it... This feels kind of lighter to this one. To me. I don't know. If anybody else has, like, these vinyls and stuff... This this one definitely feels lighter to this one. I'm not sure why, but it could just be me. Um, if anybody knows, let me know in the comment section below. I mean, it, it's it's nothing too groundbreaking. It's just sort of one of those little thoughts that popped out of my head, and it's. I, I just thought, I just keep thinking that I should sort of say these things. Um, just to sort of cover ground and stuff like that. But yeah, this is a really nice, <laughs> really nice record. I love that it's this sort of cool, clear white. It reminds me of a boiled sweet. And I love that because of all the sort of different sections in this way, you've got to obviously put the needle on for it to play and stuff like that that it, it just looks so cool on some angles it's, it's really really nice really really nice <coughs> sorry I keep coughing um, Obviously, we've got the nice heart on the back of, um, oh no, he's not giving the finger, wait, is, no, I thought he was doing that, but he's not, he's doing that, that's weird, that's really weird, he's not doing that, he's doing that. <laughs> you just noticed that. <laughs> the Pazuzu as well. That must be Cortez. Murdoch's Raven, actually. Thinking about it. We've got a um, bony. Is it Murdoch? Was it Murdoch? I don't know. I'm, pr I'm probably going to get so many angry comments from some people. And some really informative ones from others. But. Damon keeps saying that her 2D's hair is like, is like receding and I, I really can't see it. Personally, it just looks the same. I don't know, he's probably had some work done. He's a rich. <laughs> Unless to, uh, Murdoch takes all the money. Which wouldn't surprise me. 
So then leading on to the last piece I have until obviously I update this video for another update thing that I want to do is that obviously we have the, um, the what I saw this labelled in the shop was the deluxe edition of Song Machine um, and it's like this sort of little mini book thing which is really nice. Um, I bought mine and it was a bit damaged at the top um, around about here but I wasn't too fussed because it was the only one they had in so um, yeah I just kind of picked it up and took it as it was so there we have obviously the vinyls which go into this pocket at the top cool and then this page here you'll find some art which I have on the wall which I've already shown you um, but if you dig deep <laughs> if you dig deep you will find another download code so in fact, I'll do it this way um, Turn on the page, Gorilla's logo, more art, which is the same as you get um, in that little pocket. Skipped page, a few pages. More of the same art as well, 2D sat down, noodle sat down. Uh, again, double page spread of that art as well. Which is really nice. Really, really nice. I love Jamie's style. Um, more art. This is for Friday the 13th. Um, see Murdoch's been beat up and everything like that. Which, good for him. He should get beat up for what he's done to 2D. Uh, some nice art of Kong Studios. Um, Udall's car. Russell's. More Friday the Thirteenth art, and I must admit, you can smell the plastic. Come on, just and then uh, two of my favourite songs: some art for Desolé, some art for um, Pac-Man, which is really cool. Really, really cool. I want to get a. a um, I want to get a pack my cabinet um, and I, I want to save up money for someone to just turn it into this gorillas style one because it's 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 really cool either this one or the one that was actually shown in the video so some more art here for how far really really nice art double page spread for Aries which is really cool um, oh yeah if you go to the Gorillas website as well you can actually play a racing game um, I played it on my phone it's really fun it's really really fun I could not stop playing it um, and then again, just the same art with Dame and Jamie and all the gang is really cool in Kong Studios. Now with this one, you don't necessarily need to get the CD because you have you get it here. You get it all of season one on CD, which is really cool. <coughs> and then obviously at the very end, you get your second vinyl. Which is really cool for side C and D. So yeah, um, the out of the out of the ones that out of the, all the gorilla stuff that I have, basically at the moment, the most compact one for the most stuff I have is this. This contains a lot of cool stuff, but then again. All of the albums that Gorillaz have released has 
contain some really cool stuff. So, um, yeah. I know there's a lot of, um, like, they've done a DVD for Phase 1, Phase 2. Um, there's games and stuff on there. There's wallpapers and stuff like that. There's the eye dents. Um, there's the Motorola advert, which I have. I really have no idea how that was allowed on TV. If that ever was on TV, I'm not sure. Um, oh, what else was there? Obviously, there's there's G4. Um, they had the other release of the G-Shocks, which was um, Murdoch's G-Shock, Noodles, Russell's, 2Ds, which I really want to get my hands on. They obviously had the Shock Robot toys, that they, well, not toys, they're sort of little statues and stuff. Well, actually, no, sorry. I say little, a mate of mine um, managed to acquire a 2D one, and it's quite big. Um, they've obviously done the um, the trans 2D statue as well with the glow up eyes. Yeah, I know the battery's too low to use flash. Jesus. Um, oh, what else did they do? They they've basically done so much stuff that it's absolutely it's just insane how much stuff they've done. Um, and to think they've done all this stuff is absolutely amazing and it's it's all based around a, a virtual band and genuinely if you'd have said virtual band to me before I heard of gorillas I I would have told you but no they, it 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 wouldn't it wouldn't have happened and um I, I feel my I'm sorry I, I feel absent without this on <laughs> This thing goes everywhere with me. I have a phone, um, and before I obviously managed to find this, um, I, I, I was constantly on my phone. What time is it? What time is it? What time is it? Take it on my phone. What time is it? And I'd run the battery down like crazy. Um, but now it just stays in my pocket. And most thing I do is like, oh, what time? Oh, is it that time already? Yeah, I didn't know that. Um, but I have it set off to go at four o'clock every afternoon so that's when I finish college on a Tuesday but yeah um, just because I know I'd, I'd um, be having people ask me this sort of stuff in the comments everything like that um, yes I will show you the um, art so this is one of them that's for Desolé oh there's the Aries art and then that's the one with all the it's like side A, side B, side C, side D, and sort of that, you know, one through um seventeen, wow. Oh, that's who hold on. Um how far with Tony Allen and Skepta? I could be wrong, but I believe I heard somewhere that Damon said that Tony Allen passed away. Though I could be wrong. I probably am. Um I could be very wrong. But yeah, that 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 entire album. If you ask me to pick one song from that album, I I I genuinely couldn't. I the entire Song Machine album is just amazing. It was, and because it's it's technically a single for each song. No one song sounds the same, basically, um, and so. It just, it's, it's all fantastic. It's, it's all of it is just absolutely fantastic. So yeah, um, that's my uh, Gorillas collection so far. I will be updating this video, um, and as out of when I can. Um, but if you like this, if you genuinely actually did like this, um, please leave a like. Um, I kind of should actually let my content speak for itself as opposed to me sort of begging and asking for likes anyway. I am starting to try and record in sort of landscape format on my phone, uh, things like that, so that everything looks better and nothing sort of got those ugly black lines down the sides of the videos because I've seen loads of people, not on my videos, uh, but I've seen loads of people complaining 
generally that, you know, people recording in portrait rather than landscape on phones is just, nah, you don't do it apparently. <laughs> but yeah, um, if you all want to see a video on all of this fabulous junk, um, let me know in the comment section below, but that will be um, probably a two, maybe three part video because I have, as you can see, I have so much stuff to go through. But anyway, um, I have to go because my phone is on 13%. Wow, that's how long this has taken me. Um, so yeah, thank you all so much for watching. If you enjoyed this, please, please, please leave a like because it would really help me out. Um, in knowing what you like and everything like that. I'm trying not to stick to one thing like Overwatch, like I said. I feel like branching out is the best thing because then my content's not going to get boring. It's going to keep sort of changing and then it's not sort of getting better. But, you know, I'll explain all this in another video or a stream if people want me to. So thank you all so much for watching and goodbye.